Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we've got a great little animation for you today. It's a background image animation. As you can see in the image there, it's slowly fading from very saturated color down to black and white and back again gradually. Almost like a cloud passing over and blocking the sun there. It's kind of cool. Really easy to do. Got to do a bit of CSS coding for this today, but don't let that put you off. Any code I write, as usual, I'll put down below the video. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down and I'll create a new section. Just click on any section, you'll see a little blue button appear. Click on the blue button. I'm going to use a regular section for this today. I'm going to use a single column in mine. Obviously, use whatever you need for yours. And inside, I'm going to put a simple button module. OK, the button, I want to pop into the middle. So I'm going to go over to Design and Alignment. And you can style your buttons any way you want by going down to Button. Turn on the little Use Custom Styles for Button and apply whatever styles you want. I've got my generic styles on there. Let's just change something so you can see what goes on. Let's perhaps make it a little bit wider by adding a bit of padding left and right. Let's say 50 pixels. Hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side for you. We'll add a bit of box shadow. Lift it off the page. Now how about giving it some rounded corners? Again, if we go back into the button, that's going to be border radius. There it is right there. Let's take it up to 30 or 50 and give it nice round pill shaped corners like the one above. Great. Well, I'm just going to leave the button exactly like that. OK, well, let's get rid of this section above. Little blue tab for a section. I'm going to delete it. And let's add the image we want to use to the background of our new section here. So we'll go into the blue tab for our new section, down to background, image, and let's use a similar image with a nice bit of color. There we are. We'll use the same one again. Great. I mean, and that's nice. It works fine and everything like that, but it'd be nice to animate it like we had the one before, but keep the color that's on the button there or any other modules that you've got stacked on top of yours. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the row, the green tab right here. And as you can see, at the moment, the row only stretches to here. I want it to be full width, so we'll do that. And I also want it to be the same height as our section. So I'm going to apply a class to this row that will change that background image in a moment. So let's do that. I'm going to go into the row. First thing, I'm going to make it full width over to design, down to sizing, pull the width up to 100%. I'm going to copy that control C and paste it down below in the back max width control V to paste or you can just type it in if you prefer and we've now got a full width row. Fantastic. Next thing I'm going to do is save the row. I'm going to go into the section and take any padding away so there's no difference between the, the row and the section the blue and the green tabs there. Back into the section. Design. Spacing. I'm going to put a zero in the top there. I'm going to hit the chain. It'll do the bottom two. So all we're left now with is with our full width row showing the section background image behind it. Great. Now let's make it the depth that we want it. We'll do that with the row itself. Green tab. Into design. Spacing. And let's give it maybe 150 on top and bottom just to give it some height. That's a little deeper than I had it before. Let's try 100. And as you can see, I've got the chain check there, so it's doing both at once for me. Yeah, that'll work fine. And this is a great idea for a hero section or something like that, or a page header for interest value. And you can change the image on each section, but have the same CSS class to animate the background image. And I'll show you all that in a moment. Right. 
Great, while we're in our row settings, I'm going to go over and I'm going to give it a CSS class so we can target it with a bit of code in a moment. So over at advanced, I'm going to CSS ID in classes. And let's give it the class of filter IMG, filter image. Great, something I can remember. You can call yours what you want. It needs to be unique. I always like it to mean something to me though. So I'm calling mine filter image. Great, well let's save what we've got here and we'll save the page changes. Exit the visual builder. And let's go write some code. To do this today, I'm gonna to do it in the additional CSS panel. To get to the additional CSS panel, go down to your dashboard. Once at your dashboard, we can go down to appearance and customize. That's going to bring us to this page here. I've got one open already. Let's close that one. At the bottom, you're going to find additional CSS. And this is where we're going to write our code today. I've temporarily made this my home page while we're working on it so you can see what goes on while I'm writing the code. If you want to do that, you don't have to. Just go back one. And just above, you'll find home page settings. And there you can set the home page and it will need to be a published page a draft page will not show up here okay well let's write us some code back to the additional css let's drop down a few and let's give it a title which is forward slash star star forward slash any code you write between the two stars will not be read as code so uh, filter image and we'll drop down and we gave it that class class names begin with a dot or a period then the class name which is filter img then we can open and close some curly brackets and tell it what we want it to do well i want to create an animation so i'm going to say animation and we've got to give it a name let's call it flt1 i want it to run for about 15 seconds real slow fade and I want it to be infinite keep going round and round in circles so I'm going to say infinite great now we've got that we can create this animation that we called FLT1 to do that we're using keyframes so I'm going to say at keyframes then the name FLT1 that we gave the animation FLT1 we can now open some more curly brackets and inside we can start writing the animation itself so at zero percent or when the page loads at second one of our 15 seconds i'm going to put zero percent open and close some more curly brackets i'm going to use a backdrop filter for this today that will change the background image so i'm going to say backdrop dash filter then the one i'm actually going to use today it's grayscale, which will take all that color out of it. So I'm going to say gray scale. Right at the end of the E there, open some round brackets. And I'm going to take it 100%, which is fully grayscale, 100%. And you might have noticed it started doing a weird little animation there. It's sort of skipping. And at second 15, it's going to jump back to being grayscale again. To stop it jumping around like that, I'm going to copy it from the zero. Our first little entry there. Control C. I'm going to drop down. I'm going to paste it twice. Second one, I'm going to make 50%. Third one, I'm going to make 100%. And the middle one, I'm going to take that down from 100% to a zero. That way we'll have a nice smooth transition from color to gray over 15 seconds and as you can see now it's like the clouds are coming over and the sun's going in and then the clouds are going to pass over the sun's going to come back out again and we're going to get those nice colors which is great and now that we've got this animation you can apply it to anything you want if you're using this for a page header you can go to your next page just put a different image in the background and it'll do the same effect to it so let's publish our changes 
We'll go back to our page now. Once I refresh, that should start animating. And there we have it. As you can see, it starts off gray, comes on back in, brings all that color back, goes back out again. Just to show you, it doesn't matter what image you put in the background, it'll do the same thing. Let's enable the visual builder and we'll change out that image. So you could copy this section to your library, take it to another page, put it in the next page, go into your section, switch out the background image, go over to the image there. Let's get another one with a lot of color on it. Let's use that one, that's pretty vivid. Pop that one in there. And as you can see already, it's doing that animation. really nice effect don't forget guys if you've got any questions pop them below the video i'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesign and tech thanks for watching have a great day